welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Linda and I'm so glad you came by today. Um, I follow the WW, which is Weight Watchers, and I specifically follow the Blue Plan. Um, I have a recipe video for you guys today and um, I just kind of wanted to show one of my favorite meals that me and my family have and kind of how I uh, modify it to stay within my points since I follow the uh, Blue Plan on uh, Weight Watchers. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing, I'm just going to go ahead and start making the wild rice and throw everything in the pot. So basically the garlic powder, the ginger, onion flakes, parsley, chicken stock or bouillon, the rice, the black pepper, the salt, turmeric, and cumin. And basically I just put all that in together and it's going to take about 45 minutes to cook. Um, I'll make sure and leave all the specifications in the description box. And while the rice is cooking, I am going to go ahead and cut up the jalapenos, the zucchini, onions, garlic, bell peppers, um, the lemons, and getting just basic spices of uh, salt, pepper, olive oil, butter, and some dill uh, ready. So that way when I uh, start assembling the salmon, I have everything ready to, to go so I can put them in the little pockets. So I've already thawed out the salmon and I have my parchment paper ready, so that way I can go ahead and start assembling the uh, salmon pockets. So basically all I'm gonna do is just take the salmon, I'm gonna sprinkle it with some salt, pepper, and some dill. And of course you can use fresh dill. Um, I didn't have any at the moment, so I went ahead and just used dried. And then, um, you can choose to put butter or uh, olive oil. You can use both or um, you can exclude the butter if you'd like. Um, I like to put a, just a little, like maybe a tablespoon of olive oil in mine just to kind of give it a, a little bit of something to a uh, cook. And, you know, the little tablespoon of olive oil is not really going to add too, too many points. But that's how I kind of keep it low points. But for the family, I go ahead and put the butter and the olive oil and then just assemble um, putting all the vegetables in it. So that way when we um, put it in, wrap it in the little pockets, um, everything will kind of steam in there. So basically the, the salmon is, is, is baked and steamed in, in these little parchment paper pockets, if you will. So I'm just getting all of those ready and uh, once I have all the ingredients uh, in there um, and everything is, you know, seasoned to taste, then I'm just going to go ahead and start wrapping the uh, parchment uh, pocket. So I'm just going to go ahead and just uh, fold them over on top and then go round and round. And then just when I get to the very end, I'm going to tuck it down and it makes a little uh, pocket. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all of the salmon like that and parchment paper. So I have them all wrapped up and I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the oven at about 375 degrees for about 15, 20 minutes, just depending how thick they are. And meanwhile, um, I had some leftover uh, veggies and I'm basically just kind of putting them on the skillet to go ahead and just cook those because I didn't want to waste anything. I had cut a little bit too much, but that's okay. We're just going to go ahead and use all of those and cook it up. Um, yes, I'm just cooking all the rest of the vegetables and they're looking pretty good. And then I have the onions and bell peppers and jalapenos uh, separate. Um, I try to keep some of the vegetables a little separate because some people like the onion and bell peppers and some people don't like the zucchini. So I try to keep them separate so that way everybody can kind of just get what they like. So here's the finished product. We have the salmon, uh, just did some frozen corn, added the vegetables, you can put it with a salad, and then of course the rice. So pretty much um, the salmon is zero points. The veggies on top of the salmon are zero smart points also. And then of course the corn I had was zero smart points and the rice for one cup is five smart points. And here you have a low point dinner 
that is healthy and very, very filling. And my family really enjoys it. And it's just something really easy to modify. Well, that's pretty much it, you guys. That was the recipe. I really hope you enjoy it. I hope you try it. Um, I know me and my family love it. Um, so I'm so glad you stopped by today. And thank you so much for uh, coming and watching this video. And I hope you give it a like, subscribe, and hit the little bell so you know when I drop more videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.